And Garoppolo in the shotgun, looking, fires, cross the middle, Jeff Wilson, open field, touchdown! Wow, I don't know about that celebration, though. But anyways, I do know this. Niners take the lead. And it looks like they're going to 9-1. and one. Look at this. Complete across the middle. Plenty of open field. And then, I don't know what this is. It's like he's having a fucking seizure. Not the best touchdown celebration we've seen. It's definitely no keg stand. But the Niners, 9-1. Nine and one. And the ball rattling around. Rebound by the offense. Whoa, baby! He just got whacked with a sun. Don't shine. Meanwhile, white boy for three. This doesn't stand a chance. No good. What did I tell you, Peter? This is fast-paced basketball. Now he's 0 for 2. First, he got popped in the cock, and he was hoping to have kids soon. That's not happening. They might be a little off. And then he tries to be a hero, takes the charge, and I believe he got hit in the dick again. Look, at you can feel the pain. It's making its way up the stomach, and now he tries to be a hero, tries to take the charge, and gets fucking lit up and hit in the dick again. Bad day. And that is going to be a touchdown, 16-7 to Colts. What are they doing here? Oh, my God. They are bringing him back. They used to call him the Terminator in college. He used to love to take Molly, pound beers, and slay bitches. Touchdown. Wow. And that is going to wrap things up here in Kansas. Oh, my God, the shittier version of Kevin Love is going to slam it home, the white boy. And he's trying to flex. Reminder, they are down 55 points. Look at the replay. This kid is obviously trying to increase his chances of getting laid. And guess what? It's not that hard to do at Monmouth. But he's going to try anyways. Result, technical foul, SBTF. And the quarterback rolls outside, fires across the middle, complete. Oh, no, he's doing it again. A Miles Garrett. That's what we call it when you rip off the other team's heads and pop them with it. Wow. Oh, my God. Shit has hit the fan. Look at the replay. Garrett sacks Rudolph. They end up making out of the floor for a little bit, talking a little shit, and then watch this. Garrett rips off Rudolph's head, and then he fucking bops him right on the forehead, and then all hell breaks loose. My goodness gracious. The NFL... Hates to see this, Peter. Obviously, Rudolph a little bit outmatched, but this is on another fucking level. Rudolph gets up, talks shit. Garrett rips literally his fucking head off, holds the helmet, and then he just fucking goes off full Mortal Kombat right to his forehead. Punches being thrown. I mean, the emotions in this stadium for the 72 people that are still here. All I know is this, Peter. That's going to be... Watch this. Boom! Right there. Bop! And Mason Rudolph is fucking goo goo gaga on the sidelines. That's not good. The NFL is not going to like this. And it looked like it was his knee. Wait a minute. What is that? Go back to that. Was that fucking Frankenstein? My goodness. There is a man passed out in the front row, and he could be dead. No, he's moving a little bit. He's okay. He's just fucked up beyond belief. Ready? Right there. There's Frankenstein, Peter. Obviously, some guys can't hang. You got floor seats to the Lakers, and what do you do? You get so fucked up. You end up passing out in the front row. Too many Ripper Magoos. And Rivers not happy with the call. He's letting the refs hear it. And look at this. Here comes his own flesh and blood. His son is telling the referees to tee him up. It is worse than the time that Judas betrayed Jesus Christ. Thanksgiving around the corner. And boy, oh boy, it's going to be one fucking awkward Thanksgiving dinner as he is teed up. I mean, he was stumbling from the sidelines. Look at him, Peter. He's not okay. The doctors need to get him on the sidelines. He took a hit to the head just two plays ago, and he's obviously concussed. Either that or he thinks he's auditioning for fucking Circus Soleil. Either that or the molly hasn't worn off from last night. He thinks his name is Jeff. He's drooling, and he's doing cartwheels on the field. The NCAA should be embarrassed. This man should not be in the game. If he completes this dive, he is the national champion, Peter. That's not happening, though. My goodness, look at the replay. I never liked this kid anyway. Walks around with his pink Speedo, thinks he's the man, and channeling his inner Fabriga. I don't know what happened here. He either had a panic attack or shit his pants, but shit went south quickly, and the belly didn't even hit first. It was his cock, and that's got to hurt. 
He is going to awkwardly swim back to the ladder. And let's be honest with you, that's going to be all zeros. Not everybody's cut out for this game, Peter. Not everybody is cut out for this game. There is winners and there is losers. Meet Chase McLaughlin, rookie kicker. He has the world in front of him on the biggest stage in football. Monday night football. The Niners to continue their streak and remain undefeated. It doesn't happen. As a matter of fact, he almost killed somebody in a fucking tunnel. He had a panic attack. Look, we've all had it before. They're the worst. Your hands get tingly. You start sweating. You can barely swallow. But boy, oh boy, the snap and this hold couldn't have gotten any better. And there's no fucking excuses as he just yanks it literally and almost fucking murders somebody. It's plain and simple. You want to feel bad for the guy. But at the Bob Mentory TV Network, we, we just can't. Because it means one thing and one thing only. When you fail on the biggest stage, you're the shitbag titty fuck of the week.